facing the shortage of water at this hostel more than a week more than a week damn guys it has been a week no water at this hostel and it's kind of crazy actually water shortages have been the main problem here yeah, yeah. Mm, for like a... hello guys how are you doing welcome back to my channel and um, it's abdul abdul jabbar ali and uh, today it's kind of yeah today i'm not going anywhere today so i have been inside for a while and you guys you know what i did some cleaning today and uh, it's kind of kind of strange for me anyway i'm trying to get the role of using the front camera it's kind of hard for me actually when i i try to film using the front camera sometimes i get to i get to watch myself in the camera instead of in the screen i mean instead of you know it's kind of hard so i'm used to uh to shoot with the back camera but anyway so guys let me just show you around the uh, the laundry i did here today okay so guys this <laughs> i imagine i wash i wash my clothes today so these are the clothes that i wash today and uh, since i came to eldorate yeah i haven't washed any clothes so guys and um, the building you see right here this is the hostel that i I told you guys about and if you have been watching my videos you actually know that this is the hostel that I'm staying in. It's pretty massive, it's pretty massive and right now, right now there is something crazy going on guys. There is this shortage of water in me at the hostel that I'm staying at. So it's kind of hard for me right now as in it's kind of hard. People are struggling at this now, right now. People have to, to go somewhere else and fetch water I mean. So you have to pay someone to bring water to you are uh, i mean to you if you have no money then you will have to go a distance and fetch the water for you to use because that's that's how it is it's kind of crazy right now it's actually getting it's in the evening right now and uh uh today it's not that chilly today it's not that chilly the weather the weather is kind of great as you can see from from right here the weather is so amazing guys and so cool guys so cool I mean, can you just look at the sunrise? It's kind of cool. So, this is the issue here. We have problem here. But anyway, there is... Uh, and let me show you something. We have... At this hotel, we, hostel, I mean, not hotel. We have two tanks. So, this is the first tank here. As you can see, let me just show you guys around here. So, this is the... This is the first... The first tank. Right here. This is the first tank. And you know what? No water. The tank is empty. And uh, even, let me just show you the tap that we have been using for a while in this hostel. And it's kind of crazy, you know? It's kind of crazy. I'm not getting the hang of it. I'm not used to this kind of situation sometimes. This is the tap right here. And uh, you see? No water at all. No water at all. Hey, hey, can you just come here and introduce you to this? vlog that i'm doing today is this for my youtube channel okay okay so you have been staying at this hotel for, for a while hey guys so introduce yourself first oh my name is ezekiel Mutundi. ezekiel yeah uh-huh yeah, i'm from langas i'm studying at eldoret polytechnic so guys we're in the same college with this guy here so his name is ezekiel so okay just tell me for, for how long have you been experiencing the shortage of water at this hostel more than a week more than a week damn guys it has been a week no water at this hostel and it's kind of crazy it's kind of crazy so what do you do if there's no water you can't you can't wash your clothes you can't clean your dishes yeah, you cannot even even <coughs> take bath cannot take shower so what do you do uh the best solution maybe we can just look for another place so that we can locate yeah so so guys that, that the issue here so i'm not just talking about things that actually are not happening so at this hostel we have this problem there's no water there's no water but we have to survive as student and uh you know if you think of relocating maybe if, if you think of relocating right now it's going to be hard actually you have to find money for maybe let me say deposit yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. deposit you have to find deposit you have to move so it's kind of hard so we have we just have to survive and that's how the life is here so in this hostel so ezekiel thank you so much for being in this youtube channel and uh maybe some people will say hi to you okay thank you okay fine so guys as i was telling you this situation is kind of tricky and 
it's happening right now. There's no water, but we have we have to survive. We have to survive on this. So guys, okay, I showed you the first tank. So let me just show you the second tank so that you see for yourself. Uh, sometimes this 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 kind of problem, you know, kind of problem. Sometimes in order to experience this shortage of water, and that's it. There's no way we we can exp uh, escape that. Okay, there's I another tank here. Okay, this is the second tank that I just talked about. And here is the tap. So guys, this is the tap. You see? There is no water. No water. It has been it has been almost a week. There is no water. And you know what guys, we have we have to deal with it. We have to deal with it. You paid your rent and that's all. So okay, there's there's another well here that stores water here. But it's kind of empty right now. It's kind of empty. So, that's it. So, we have been here. People have been struggling. If you maybe you want to use your washroom, maybe you should think of going to the... Ah, uh, to the... I mean, to school. That's it. So, it's kind of problem. It has been a week here. Says, Hello. So, do you want to be included? My, uh, you don't want to be included here. Okay, so guys, this is... This is our our getsman here, our soldier. So can you say hi to these people who actually uh, there are so many people who are going to watch uh, this yeah. video. Okay, just say hi to them. Hi there. Be hi, be hi. Be hi, be hi. Hi do. Let's introduce yourself. Ah. So be again. So guys, I think this guy is camera shy. So okay, so guys, as I've been telling you that we have a problem in this hostel, but okay, so. Let me just take you out for, for a while. So you have to pay someone to bring water for you. So there is someone who is carrying water from other places. It's kind of a, it's about maybe let me say, it's a distance, it's a distance. So if you're someone who are not used to this of kind of situation of walking from one place to another searching for water, it's going to be a very big deal. So you're not going to do it because it's kind of hard. I tried that when I was in first year, I think, first year 2019, I think. We had a problem of maybe those water shortages. Hello. So for about, for about two weeks. So it was crazy. It was crazy. I mean, I had, we had to go out of our buildings and find water from another houses. So this is kind of, this is kind of the issue in Eldor. This is an issue. This is an issue. So if you guys are maybe you're thinking of maybe coming and staying in some area. So the, the area that I'm actually talking about here is Langas. So if you have been if you're, you're, you're thinking of maybe you're coming to Langas to stay in Langas then this is something that you should you should check. There's always a shortage of water. So guys I never intended to go outside here. But that's it. So anyway, so let me just let me just get back to the let me get back to the host because today I I didn't plan to do this. So I was telling you guys this is the location, Langas. Uh, this place is yellow line. Yeah, th this is this is an issue. This is an issue. I thought maybe I should actually shoot a video about this. I did I did washing today because I had to buy water. So I had to buy four jerry cans of of water. So that's uh, that for maybe one jerry can, the person who is going to fetch the water for is charging you about 20 shillings. So you have one jerry can for 20 shillings. So if you think, uh, if you do the math, uh, maybe let me say you maybe you're using water frequently for about maybe let me say four jerry cans per day, that is going to be about 80 shillings. So you have to 80 sh you have to use 80 shillings per day, and that's it. So if you don't have if you don't have that money then this means you're going to struggle you're going to struggle it's going to be hard for you to even take shower i mean you won't bath because there's no water in the building so this that's a kind of problem that you're actually facing right now but hey okay let me let me guys so let me let me know you guys where you're from if maybe you're experiencing the same issue that i'm i'm talking about here and uh yeah so Okay, guys, there's uh, my friend here. Hello. Uh, say hi to the video. 
Hi. Okay, introduce yourself. Hey, I'm Bruno. Uh huh. From Eldoret. Yeah, he is running from Eldoret. Yeah. Okay, let me ask you something. For how long have you maybe been experiencing water shortages around this place? Mm, actually, water shortages have been the main problem here. Yeah. yeah. Mm, for like around a month and a half. Wow. We have not yet gotten water. Oh, that's that's an issue. So if there's no they water, should revisit. They should revisit. Yeah. Okay. So if there's no water, what do you do? After? Mm, we walk for, or we we are used to buying your water. Yeah. Twenty shillings per twenty. Per jerrycan. Yeah, per jerrycan twenty liters. Wow. You see, that's expensive. That's expensive. That's yeah. pretty expensive. So does this affect your business? Yeah, here? very much, very much. Without water, sanitation, hygiene. Yeah, it's, it's not going to be poor. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so thank you so much for contributing to this video. Yeah, thank thank you. you so much. So guys, as you have heard from a fellow friend here from who is doing some businesses around here, uh, he's telling us that actually it's expensive buying water for 20 shillings per jerrycan. So this has been an issue. So as it is affecting so many businesses that are actually going on around here. And that's the issue. So guys this is a real thing so you have heard from ezekiel uh, the one that i was talking about that i talked with uh first when i started the video yeah he, he said that what has been maybe shortages have been a week but uh ronald who is a business owner at this this area is telling us that it has been a month it has been a month so this is kind of this is kind of hectic this kind of hectic so guys this is something that i thought i should address and share with you guys so if you're thinking of maybe re relocating coming back to coming to stay maybe in this area langas you should be aware of that that's one of the disadvantages so anyway guys i've been talking so much i've never been talking so much in my other videos so if you have any questions about anything you know what you should just be feel feel free to leave your comment don't forget to like to subscribe to my youtube channel and uh, i'll talk to you guys in my next video peace